welcome everybody to a new game we're gonna play or have a look at on the channel called game dev tycoon a big thank you to uh, the green hearts team uh basically green heart team sorry green heart games they have hooked me up with a key uh let's get into it this is my kind of jam you know back when computers were like just in the in the starting stages and you like you want to build a game for your computer this is it oh, let's get into it Ooh. so as with most of my videos how they start i've never looked at this before never jumped in here never played it so uh it's gonna be a quick like run through uh if you guys like it then we'll chuck some more videos up uh but if you don't you just show show with the likes if you if you like it like it and we'll chuck out some more videos so all right before you can start your adventure uh you have to give your upcoming company a name oh <gasps> cool all right so we go uh we go cola co yes company name uh oh actually we go uh, no, we just go gaming cola co. There we go. And the name cola. Awesome. Uh, right. We are. Uh, can we? Ooh, we can change hair. Awesome. I like. I like. Which hair do I like? I like that hair. That looks good. What about a shirt? Ooh, I don't know. Not the best. Why not? All right. Let's get into it. <gasps> Achievement unlocked. Support a young startup by the game. What? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I see there's a DeLorean under here, which is quite cool because I think it it gives you like a like a thing that you uh, have been teleported or you've you've taken a time machine back in in time kind of thing. Uh, right. What do we need to do? I don't know. Where's the tutorial? Hello, tutorial. Where are you? Uh, did I turn it off? No, uh, tutorial show only when show all tutorials. There we go. Okay. Tutorial me. I don't know how to play. Uh, I guess, I guess we develop new game. There we go. Before develop development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select your graphics technology. Your game should use. Okay. Your options are initially limited. But once you have a bit of experience, uh, you will be able to unlock new options. Great. All right. Game one. What are we going to call it? We're going to call it uh, Monkey Madness. All right. Pick a topic. Virtual pet, construction, rhythm, cyberpunk. Who? Uh, Monkey Madness. We'll call it Virtual Pet. Pick the genre. We're going to call it an adventure. And click the platform we're going to. Hey guys, uh, just popping in to see if you guys haven't subscribed yet to click subscribe. If you have subscribed, chuck us a like and a comment and let us know how we go. All right, let's get back to the video. Ooh, a G64. Oh, that's, that, that brings back memories. So does this. I used to have the floppy disks. Uh, right, market share uh let, let's do pc and then let's go next right graphics we're going to do text base or we're going to do we're going to do 2d start development all right go type my little cola dude game development run through three stages at the beginning of each stage you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate okay uh, think about what areas are important for your game and dis decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. Okay, cool, cool, cool. If you want to read a brief description, blah, 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 cool. All right, so development, we want to put development into, yeah, we just want to keep it, keep it all rounder at the moment. Ooh, here we go. Uh, game development has now started. Thank you very much. While developing your game, you will generate game points, uh, which you can use, uh, which you can see bubbling up. Okay, so that's the little dude's bubbles. Uh, game points are divided into uh, um, design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better your game will be. Okay, from time to time, there will be also uh, bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Uh, bugs should be fixed before the game is released. <laughs> uh, Skyrim. Uh, bugs should be fixed before the game is released. 
and increase development time and cost okay here we go all right so that's my cash on hand this is how many fans i have zero uh oh this is stage two okay so we have technology design research right so let's put it into maybe like level design okay cool go research technology it's a cool little basic game like uh, like the square uh during development you can also select additional features for your game right now you can only pick basic sounds but your options will increase quickly selecting additional features makes the game generally better but also increases its cost of course it does you will also see the graphics type you selected when you define the game uh this is just to remind you of your choice you cannot change the type of graphic mid game okay so uh selected features great sounds basic oh no we want basic sounds yes uh we are going to put it into still going to put it into the graphics Ooh, bubble bubble oh research is going up graphics sound monthly cost oh 8k is that for the hireage of the building the development of your first game is now complete you can press the finish button to publish your game but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you can't afford to wait okay so how do i oh okay cool he just fixes bugs as we go and then i can press finish there we go finish we have we have done a game called monkey madness uh the development of your game has now finished while developing the games you gain experience and improve your skills your development is completed yeah when development is completed you will be presented with a summary lovely gained experience oh 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 okay cool and then obviously the more i level up the better it becomes okay okay i like it Why is cola and red? Anyway, uh, release game. Yes. The game is now complete and will be handed off to the publishing. Handed off for publishing. Good God. Uh, we should see reviews and sales coming in from the game soon. Awesome. Uh, we have no project. Should we, should we start another one? Uh, develop a new game. Let's pick a topic. Uh, let's do a cyberpunk game. <laughs> let's call it an action cyberpunk game and then let's maybe do it on the pc because it's cheaper all right next right uh we're gonna do it as a 2d game start development Ooh. the first reviews of our newly released game monkey madness came in all right what did we get oh dear lord come on uninspiring oh waste of money oh no <laughs> bad <laughs> oh no uh not bad not good awesome so after publishing the game you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insight into your works uh, and what doesn't work when developing a game. Okay. To generate a game report, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up action menu. All right. And then generate game report. All right. This is monkey madness, right? Units sold. Don't know. Cost 31K. Oof. Income, nothing. Don't know. Okay. Select. A newcomer in the game industry has just released their first game, Monkey Madness. The game has a moderate response from viewers. We are curious what Gaming Colico will deliver in the future. Awesome. Ooh, I sold a few, sold a few units. Units in this first week on the market. Lovely. Got some money back in. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph. Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. 
and I, apparently I'm making another game because I didn't really think that this would carry on. But anyway, uh, game reports are a great way to gain more uh, more research points and new insight. It pays off to generate a report for each new game you release. Now uh, that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to start look at the research menu. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, research menu. Ah! Oh, um, this is my new one. Uh, we're going to put it into uh, engine and story quests, right? Uh, it's complete. Virtual Hero is an okay combination. Uh, dialogues seem to be very important for this type of game. Of course they are. Of course they are. Uh, so artificial intelligence, yes. Dialogues are okay. Level design, yep, cool. This is for our new game, Cyberpunk game. Oh, I didn't name it. It just says game. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's all right. Basic sounds. Uh, the sounds are not at the moment. Graphics, yes. World design, yes. Okay, cool. Go. Monkey Madness is losing sales at the moment. Uh, cost. Oh, it's going to fix the bugs. Yes, yes, yes. One more bug. Yes. Uh, recent market studies suggest that the, uh, the G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Uh, con consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware over other home computers. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Oh, ho, ho. let's finish it. Can I, can I name the game now? Oh, I can. Good. It is called... Uh, Cola Rim. Okay, cool. Cola Rim. Uh, release the game. Yes. Uh, create a game with good. Okay, cool. The first reviews of our newly released game are in. Hmm? Ten. Ten. Oh, six. That's better. Their focus on graphics served this game very well. Awesome. Oh, shows potential. Love it. I like it. Game hero. Nice. I'm getting three stars, not ones. Monkey Madness was a fail. Quirky, but good. Okay, cool. How do we... Game off the market. Monkey, uh, Monkey Madness is now off the market. Okay. Cola Room was so successful that we now have 25 fans. Yes. Lovely. Oh, that's how many units I sold in the first week. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, that's how many I sold in the first week. Ooh, she got some money. Okay, how do I uh no, that's not what I wanted. How do I get into the research? It's off the market. Sold 3,800 units, generating this many sales. Awesome. How Polar Rim achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history. Gaming Cola Co. Awesome. And it's still going up. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, right, research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. Oof, this will greatly improve your games. This is very cool. Try to develop games with different topics, genres, and blah, 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 blah. Cool. Uh, research points. I need 50 for a custom game engine. What do you want to research? New topic or custom game engine? Oh, I see. We could mm, maybe a superhero one. Start research. According to rumors of Japanese company <laughs> Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo is uh, planning to launch its very own home gaming console. is known for a widely uh, successful arcade. <laughs> Dinky Kong. <laughs> uh, many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvin Nin 2 will deliver. Well, I'm from the future and I can say that Nindinvu Nin is doing bloody well. Got some money, we're good. Cola sale, Cola Rim is doing very well. Uh, didn't have any bugs like Skyrim. Uh, let's have a look, research complete. You have completed a superhero research. Awesome, all right. Oh, Cola Rim is off the market, right. Lovely, let's develop a new game so let's 
pick a topic. Let's call it superheroes, right? It's an RPG and we will pick, we'll give it a go with this one. It's going to be called, uh, ooh, we're going to call it mid, midtown trouble. Sure. Next. All right. 2D graphics. Yes. Start development. Lovely. Cost a little bit to start with, but it's okay. 68 fans. That's pretty cool. Engine. Yes. Gameplay. I definitely want a bit of both. Uh, story quests. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. All right. What do you guys think? This is quite a cool little game. Get you addictive, uh, addicted, I should say, to it. Uh, dialogues, we're going to put the dialogues down. Artificial intelligence, we're going to put down. Level design, going to stick them into that. Um, yeah, I, I think it's I think it's quite a cool little time waster, which is which is great. Oh, look, Ninventu has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called T <laughs> Yes. Uh, early next year, the console features cartridge based games and a unique design controller. Very, very cool. Very cool. All right. Uh, what are we going to do? Have we got any more basic? Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, world design. No, we're going to put it all into graphics. Let's give that a go. It's a, it's a matter of having a look and just like weighing up. What do you think? And then seeing what the stars come in. All right. Finish the bugs. Ooh, I chomped through my money quite a bit. All right. Uh, from Patrick Gaming. Hi, Cola. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon, and we would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for giving me the game to play around with on the channel. So thank you very much. Right. Uh, it's the very first game, and it means a lot to us. Uh, so these guys are really cool. They have made, they're making a cool game uh, and I've got a I've got a um, video on the channel of it. Uh, it's Tavern Keeper, and so you guys go and check that out. I'll put a link above, and it's very cool. So yeah, go and support them. Seriously, you rock. Well, thank you, thank you, people, thank you. Awesome. Uh, let us finish that game. Ooh, new record. Right. Midtown trouble. Is ready now that i spell that right yes i did oh i leveled up game design oh level design and graphics Woo! Nelly. okay release the game let's see how that one goes first reviews of our newly released game midtown trouble came in okay come on give us an eight. Oh, oh balls a bit short get out of here oh seven that's pretty good star games they don't like me uh, their focus on level design served them well. Did I focus on level design? I can't remember. Quirky but good. All right. Close. All right. How many sell in the first week? Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, contacts have, what? Well, contacts have been unlocked to see available contract, con, tax close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu okay here we go hi there i've just finished midtown trouble and i was impressed by your talent i'm in the contacting a business uh and we could use skills like yours contracting business my bad uh if you are ever short on cash just let me know and i will see if you have some work for you jason well, thank you, Jason. I will get in touch with you. Right. I made a bit of cash. It's great. Oh, today the new game was released. Okay. All right. Let's make a game for Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. Let's pick a, pick, pick, blah, 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 blah. Pick a platform. Oh, yeah. I've got enough money to do that. Let's do it. Uh, you require a developer license to be able to develop for this platform. Do you want to pay 80,000 to require? Not really. Let's go PC again. And then let's actually, no, let's do some research. Go back. Uh, research, research. Here we go. Um, let's develop a new one. Maybe, maybe a spy one. Sure. Detective. Yeah, sure. 
Start research. Right. Go for it. 242 fans. That's pretty good. I'm not good with names. So, yeah, my, my game's off the market today. Yes. Thank you. Whoa, that's a lot of sales. Awesome. <gasps> cool. I have successfully researched detective. Lovely. Develop a new game. So we're going to call, oh, we're going to do detective game and it's going to be a strategy game and it's going to be for the PC, right? So this game is going to be called Hide and... <laughs> Uh, I didn't find, <laughs> I didn't find, uh, the, the names lovely. Okay. It's going to be a text based game to be honest. And we're going to try that one. We're going to start development. Lovely. So the engine, a uh, story and quest gameplay engine. So we're going to put the gameplay to a little bit lower. Okay. I don't know if that makes a difference for text based ones or not. design technology right so artificial intelligence dialogues level design dialogues is going to be probably really really uh crucial here uh, we're going to do artificial intelligence lovely let's go this is probably going to be the crumbling factor of my business oh okay so no graphics because it's a text-based one uh sounds we definitely want more sounds and we world designed it's a text-based one uh, mm, we'll give it a little bit okay go okay we're just playing around here i have no idea what those things are oh we're getting close to our own game engine oh complete the bugs one more yes finish awesome our great game called hide and find will be out there oh engine two <gasps> we're leveling up yay oh level design not so much <laughs> sound awesome me i leveled up too awesome release the game <sighs> what does it release as the first reviews of our new game coming oh my god oh my god oh my god oh wasted time Oh shoot, boring. <laughs> X-Bates game, what do you expect? <laughs> One of the worst. Oh no. Do I lose fans if it's really bad? Uh, what's it gonna sell in the first? That's not bad. Like it's the same as what my first game was. Oh no. Oh, I lost fans. Oh no. Um, Research. Let's research a custom game engine. Start research. All right, how's this going? Units. Oh, only 4K. No one likes detective games, just letting you know. Could be a detective RPG. Mm, that would be interesting. Maybe it's the name. <laughs> now you can create your own game engines. Uh, to start, uh, get started, close this message and click anywhere to bring up the menu. Research available. Game tutorials. Mono sound. Okay. Uh, custom game engine. Here we go. Story quest. Linear stories. Right. Oh, just having a save game in it. Let's let's create that. Cool. Now you're creating your own custom game engine. Once the game, uh, once the engine is finished, you'll be able to use it when you create new games. Awesome. Go, 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 my preciouses, go. Yay! Awesome. Uh, game engine one is now complete. Awesome. Congratulations. Your first custom game engine is now... Crap! I didn't, <laughs> didn't name the game engine. That was so dumb. Uh, right. Anyway. Complete the research. Custom game engine. Awesome. All right. How's oh, Hide and Find doing? <laughs> oh my God. I'm losing fans. Uh, game is off the market. Uh, we didn't sell many. Okay, let's let's develop a new game. Let's call it. Uh, let's call it Crazy Cola World. World, world, world. Cool. Uh, pick a topic. We're gonna we're gonna do hmm, Crazy Cola World. Let's do a cyberpunk game. Let's do. An RPG platform. That one. 
and then let's pick game engine one mate i have it's gonna be graphics based uh the recent has proven to be a massive success sale numbers have exceeded oh dear lord okay i'm really gonna have to I love the games that come with the tears i'm playing with the controller so much fun okay we definitely need to uh pay for and we're gonna go down uh gameplay gonna put down uh we're gonna put down the story a little bit cool oh no bugs so that's good god oh, damn it <laughs> uh right artificial intelligence dialogues can come down level design needs to go up awesome carry on we need more money and graphics definitely sounds can come down because they're just basic sounds and world design up awesome carry on please make a good game <laughs> design technology design design research awesome fix two bugs awesome finish let's see how the Ooh, new record awesome don't know what that is but that's oh this these right okay let's see how this game goes if it makes us lots of money i'll buy the nintendo license N no it's not nintendo i didn't say that it's ninvendu ninvendu license right let's release it wait did you release it oh you did first reviews of crazy cola world has come in oh oh go nine go nine yes oh rpg games work well on the g64 oh good game okay it's gonna make us lots of money people eight love it i, I best because it's got crazy in it uh played it for days oh yeah all right how much money do i get in the first sales for what oh main that's a lot oh that's a lot of money okay oh 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 okay hold on hold on <laughs> we need to <laughs> we need to develop a uh wait wait we need a license Oh dear lord, generate game report. Uh, crazy cold world. Costs that. Awesome. Yep. Uh, how did hide and find go? Yeah, it was horrible. We we did cover our costs, which is fine. Yeah, I have got a lot more fans, which is lovely. 200, that sounds pretty good. All right. Recent studies suggest that increasing a variety of game devices also created creates a market for more specialized games some platforms become more popular with younger gamers while others cater for more mature aged groups okay as more and more developers enter the market we expect developers focusing games on specific age groups to uh, really make an impact all right oh dear lord there's so many things popping up all right we're gonna leave it there people next if you guys want to see more of this flick it a like uh, and we will look into the Nintendo license and we will make a game for that and see how we go and see if it can beat Crazy Cola World. We may even make Crazy Cola World 2. Uh, but yeah, you guys have a good rest of your night, day, whatever it is that you are doing while you're watching me and or listening. And I will see you in the next one.